Hey everyone, this is Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs looking at MLB player models and wanted to show you a new feature that we just launched called Stacks. So um, we're looking at models. If you look in the top right hand corner here, you can see four tabs. One is model to see your player, player ratings, build and back test your models, um, look at pro models, um, basically look at all of the data. We have build lineups is where you can either optimize or um, build a lineup as you would like. Latest news has all of the um, lineups as they come in and the um, any scratches and important news. And then stacks. So this new feature allows you to build 200 stacks um, basically instantly uh, centered around your particular model. So um, you can pick a stack size of either three, four, or five. We'll pick, um, let's go with five here. And uh, if you're using FanDuel, it'll obviously be only three or four due to their max four-man stack rules. You can build the stacks sorted by um, rating. So you're trying to more or less optimize based on the overall rating um, of any po possible stack that you can create in that slate. You can also sort by pro trends and then ISO, that's the collective ISO of the top um, five man stacks. And that's generally uh, a good metric to look at for power in, in tournaments where you generally be stacking. You can also sort based on the status of the team's lineup. So um, I typically choose um, confirmed and projected. You can also do solely confirmed lineups. Um, so only players from lineup cards that are in, you might use that. Um, if you want to be really safe, you're creating a, a lineup at the last minute, say 645 Eastern time. And, um, and you want to make sure that all of those guys are in because you're not going to be able to check uh, lineups later. You just don't want to risk it. And then all, which has um, all players that have played in the uh, last five days of Major League Baseball. So we'll go with confirmed and projected. Um, and then we will um, maximize pro trends. So if you click build stack, so you'll see it'll sort by the collective pro trends that it can create. If we go to rating, we can rebuild. That'll optimize based on the rating. So the top... Um, five-man rating that you can get in this particular slate using my model is a one three four five seven stack from the blue jays which isn't surprising because they're playing at coors field um, and then just because a stack is uh has the highest rating doesn't necessarily mean it's the best there's game theory elements that go into it, of course, but also salary. So even if you're look, looking um, for the best value, I like to go through here and start to look at the um, at the collective salaries of, uh, of these five-man stacks. So if we go down, we're going to see a lot of Toronto and Colorado. The first non-one is uh, the Yankees. They're 21K. Um, Houston, 20.9. Yankees, 19.2. And if you continue to go down, you'll start to see... Um, some that, that become a lot cheaper. So um, we have the White Sox at 18.2, and we're still relatively close to the peak in terms of rating. But you can see the top Detroit stack, for example, um, is only 18.2K. So let's say that that's the stack we want to use. Um, you can either click on the stack or click load. And when you do, it'll um, force those players, it'll lock them into your lineup. So from there, you can either optimize a, a lineup around that stack you can also just build a lineup as you like, or you can generate multiple lineups. So those five players from that stack are locked in. Generate multiple lineups. Let's say we want to create 10. There's no other parameters. Um, we could do a min rating for all of the value plays, min strikeout per nine for our pitchers. Um, but we'll just generate lineups. And then it will create um, 10 lineups with those five players in. So you can see Cabrera, Kinsler, Castellanos, Upton, Moya all forced in, and then um, 10 lineups that are not really that diversified. And if these are lineups that we like, we can save them. They'll go to the My Lineups page, and then you will see those 10 lineups um, all based around that stack. But uh, that's the new um, stacking feature. I think it's going to be really useful for quickly creating multiple lineups um, based around the same stack and really just figuring out which stacks are best to use in a given slate.